This is the technical difficulties, and we are playing Two of These People Are Lying, because two of these people will be Chris Joel. Hello. Gary Brannan. And Churchill said to me, if you've been wearing a thong the wrong way around for 25 years, you deserve to be in the camel corps. And Matt Gray. <laughs> I like how I have to try and explain it while still laughing at you every single time. Uh, the three of us have picked a Wikipedia article, you probably know it by now, and then Tom is shuffling them, he's going to pick one. Two of us will be lying about what that article is, one of us will be telling the truth. And we are talking about Hagia Sophia. H Hagia Sophia. Hagia... Matt, how do you pronounce it? Hagia Sophia. I have no idea, I'm just reading it the same way as you <laughs> Okay, right. Yeah. It's a band. It's a band, all right. Uh, Gary? It is a museum in Istanbul. Museum in Istanbul. And Chris? It is the site of a well-known piece of graffiti. Ooh, that is interesting enough. We're going to start with it. Chris, site of a well-known piece of graffiti. Yeah, it is a holy site come temple somewhere in the Near East, but it's noted for having a piece of Viking graffiti that effectively boils down to half Dan was here. Half Dan. Half Dan. Half Dan. <laughs> it's a good I, I presume, I'm sorry, presumably he wrote it one-handed and hopped in or something. Yeah. I don't know. Is that an, is that whole name half Dan? Uh, yeah, I think it's half Dan. You know, right? You could probably do it with the right letters. Right. I yes. can't. Okay. Gary, a museum in Istanbul. Yes, it has a big dome. I mean, a lot of places in Istanbul yeah, do. They do. It's a former site of an Orthodox Christian church, later a mosque, now a museum. Noted for interesting things within it, as you often get in a former converted site. I mean, generally museums are known for interesting things within yes. them. I don't know, <laughs> some museums. <laughs> Did you go to the Colour Museum in Bradford? The what? The what? <laughs> the Colour Museum. Is it just like samples of colours? Yeah. Like because it, because Bradford used to be the centre of the dye the wool dyeing trade, so you had the colour. Ah. You had the Wool Dyers Association who set up a museum of colour. And I, how I, you do dyeing and colours. I was about to write that down and realise it's got nothing to do with this. It has but, no, but do carry on. But an interesting little vignette for you there. Yes, a museum in Istanbul with a big dome. Yeah, and, and things within it. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Some of the things within it would be a start. Right, there's doors. I'm not pissing about. There's doors. There's, there's the emperor's door, which was a door that would be preceded through by emperors. There's what was described as the, the nice door. Which is a particularly fine example. And a, a, there's a, the back door and, and there's a sweaty, the side door. And, and, a, and a sweaty column. I beg your pardon. A sweaty, <laughs> described as the sweating column, it, the stone perspired. It's very euphemistic. Yeah. The sweat, sweating or sweaty? Well, either uh, probably fits, does it well, not? Well, the, the one causes the other. The sweaty column and a load of doors in a museum in Istanbul with a big dome. Correct. That's not, that is genuinely what that is, because the sweating column is one of the things where the heat transfers and the water comes out, and obviously it's been used as a devotional thing because it heals ailments and stuff like that. Does it, though? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, site of controversy, obviously, the, the, the Erdogan in Turkey has tried to bring it back into religious use. All right. Matt, it's a band. They're a folk band. Folk band, right, okay. And they are from the Scottish Highlands. Scottish Highlands. And I've once again, I should have done more research. I've picked another article that didn't have too much on it, so I clicked through to their website, and they are playing Chelmsford Folk Festival on Thursday. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's unhelpful for everyone who's watching this months later. Yeah, but, yeah, but it's good for us. <laughs> Who'd have thought Chelmsford would have a folk festival? I mean, it seems like a reasonable place to have a folk festival. If, if it was the... the, 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 the but then again, the, it's the, a place with folk in it, so I suppose it can have a folk festival. <laughs> it's a festival of folk. <laughs> it's not just a long, long parade of random people. Um, this, is, this is a folk. <laughs> Here's some folk. Uh, so they're playing Chelmsford Folk Festival on Thursday. Yes. And I look through to their um, website. Um, the Wikipedia doesn't last list any articles or articles, albums or singles or anything, which intrigued me, which is the main reason I clicked on their website. They have a band camp, so they just release nice. stuff in bits and starts. Why do they qualify for a Wikipedia article? Is it just like someone from the band's made this, or...? It's called a stub. It didn't say it was a stub, but it was stub length. <laughs> I had a... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I like how I can't get a whole sentence out without being interrupted today. <laughs> do you like that? Because it would really annoy me. <laughs> it was handy the times I was making things up because then I had more time to think. 
But yeah, it was, it was a short article. They didn't complain about being a stub or just being promotional, but I think it's so small no one cares. <laughs> All right. Um, man. Gary, I don't think it's the museum. Okay. I think there are a lot of places like that, but I think it fell apart on the phrase sweaty cop. <laughs> <laughs> Has us often been the problem in my career. Chris, I think that's a genuine piece of graffiti. I just think it's probably not in that place. I don't think that, that works. Matt, I think it's a folk band with a tiny stub article. Am I right? No. Oh. No, okay. Did you just make that up with no detail whatsoever? Yes. Right, well, you get the point, and the question is, Chris, should I have picked you again? No. However, so, the Hagia Sophia yeah. is a Middle East, uh, Near Eastern religious site. Yeah, it that's what you said. now a museum with a sweaty column in it that exists in much the way that Gary describes it. Oh, had Gary picked an article that you already knew something about? And it has in it a piece of Viking graffiti what says, Half Dan was here. I don't understand. <laughs> Gary's was true, a, well, but I knew something about it, but enough not to tread on his toes. So you're <laughs> both right? <laughs> I, I'm so confused. <laughs> Just that only one of these people were lying. At the northwest of the building, there is a column with a hole in the middle covered by bronze plates. The column goes by different names. The perspiring column, the wishing column, the sweaty column, or the crying column. So you were The both... column is said to be damp when touched and has supernatural powers because St. Gregory the Miracle Worker appeared near the column in 1200 and since then, it has been moist. So I could have picked... Either of you. If you'd have picked me, you'd have technically been wrong, not my article, but that is a true fact about that place. Oh, that's cruel. <laughs> that's cruel. But it doesn't matter because I picked the one person who was definitely lying. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Lovely. Gary, go get yourself a new article. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Gary has gone and got a new article. I'm going to pick one off here. And for the second half, we are talking about Battle Battle. Mm. Uh, starting with Gary on this one, I think. <laughs> Gary, could you please tell me about Batlo? Batlo is a river in North Yorkshire. All right, that's exactly what I thought it was looking at that title. Fair but, enough. It has the <laughs> unique distinction of being the shortest river in the county. Shortest in the county. Being three feet long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at the Lickle river. <laughs> the river, the river Batlo is in fact and trench. <laughs> in the geography community, that is why it is notable in that there is obviously a lot of debate over whether it is a river or just, you know, a big trenchy puddle. That's a small but trench. But because, it, because it's, it's not on even a, slope, a big trench. It has a feeder at the top, so it's got a spring at the top that's feeding it's it. Playing it's the, the same set feeling. over and over again. <laughs> And it has flows. it got a CD player, 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 yes, player? Yes, it has. Uh, if you were to park next to it, which is very difficult. And one so leather far. seat that's been yeah. thrown in there. Yeah. And it could because it flows with cider into another larger lemon uh, tribute. <laughs> hell, into another larger tributary. <laughs> Therefore, it classes under the definition of what people say is rivers as a river. Now, do you remember <laughs> back when we did the first run of these? Yeah. That I was quite rude in one of the early episodes. Mm -hmm. I just kind of immediately struck one off because I didn't believe it at all. Mm. <laughs> well, Chris! <laughs> tell you what, readers, let's see how this one pans out for Colonel Cocky Pants sat diagonal Un diagonally. Unfortunately, opposite. unfortunately, the thing that killed it was three feet. Because, I, and you weren't to know this, Gary, you weren't to know this, but by the time this, ep this episode of the show has gone out, uh, I will have done a video about the shortest rivers in the world. <laughs> And I May I vouchsafe your research came up short? <laughs> hey! <laughs> short. Chris. <laughs> Batlow. Batlow is a small village in Shropshire. Village in Shropshire, yep, and Matt. It's a town in New South Wales. Town in New South Wales. Ah, the same place in Australia he went for last time when you needed to quickly, quickly grab for something. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this might be a quick one. All right, let's... let's That's what you usually say. Let's go. Oh, you've wounded him with your striking <laughs> out. I'm going to ask both of you and take this from whichever order you like. What is significant about those towns? Mine's not a town. You weren't listening. It's a village. It's a village. What is significant about those conurbations? <laughs> Apples. Hey, That's a strong start. I think he's talking about mine. Apples. What about them? Remember we, we touched on the big lobster in the past? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a long, long time ago. 
Can we get one of those link bubbles, please? <laughs> just just because it is the primogenesis of this horrible mistake. Originally founded in the late 1800s as a place where there was gold. Someone went, hey, gold! Look, look, there's some gold here, and then the gold ran out, and then it went, there's no gold here. Oh, let's grow some apples. I mean, that's in the yeah. gold mine. It's in Wineyard County. Wineyard County. Yeah, Not Vineyard County. Wineyard sure. County. Yeah. Wineyard County is spelt W-Y-N yard. Oh. Oh, oh Wineyard. Wineyard County, all right. Uh, that's, that's all uh, That's all possible. I don't see any anything wrong with that. Chris, uh, the village in Shropshire. Battle. Yes. Formerly a hamlet. All right. Became a village in 1953 when it eventually grew large enough to be listed as such. All right. Named for Battle Low, the low ground on which the battle was fought in 1210. Oh, it's a difficult one. I mean, it's not a difficult one with Gary, but it's a difficult one between Chris and Matt. <laughs> Careful. It's a good job he's in a mug. I think you'd have been glassed by now. <laughs> yeah. All I'm going to say is one thing. Careful, Icarus. It was just a really unlucky guess. That's all. Um, if it turns out it is, then uh, frankly... You've got another video to make, haven't you? If, if it is... <laughs> if it is, I didn't need to go to Finland for that video. <laughs> is that a humble brag? I think it might be. It totally is. And you've been to Finland. Uh -huh. Did you go through the Air Force? Yeah, sorry. You went to yes, Finland. Yes, I did. You're really good at things in Finland and scotching them out quickly, aren't you, Tom? Because you knew all about the airport and the little kebab. So maybe the short river in Finland, maybe Finland, Sorry, the short river where? In Finland, as yep. you just said, might be where you come up short in Finnish things. Matt, I think it's you. I think it's your village in New South Wales. Am I right? Yes. Its town sign says Batlow with a big apple and underneath it says famous for apples. I don't know why I'm hiding <laughs> it. I can show you a picture. That's great. I need that. I mean, you know what? That's on the nose enough. I like that. Don't mess around. F famous for apples. It uh, is named after a Mr. Batlow who surveyed a town site nearby the mining area and was renamed Batlow in 1889. What was it called before? Please tell me it had a proper crappy name like <laughs> Creek or something like yes. that. Yes! Reedy Creek! <laughs> <laughs> That's the name for the Disneyland, Disney World's area, isn't it? Reedy Creek. Is it? Yeah. Oh. It was established around the Reedy Flat Post Office. Oh. Reedy Flat. Who was posting letters there if there was I no one know. living there? That, that was a really unlucky thread to go on, Gary. It, I, I would have absolutely gone for it. It was the words three feet. If you'd have said 20 metres, if you'd said 100 metres, I'd have completely gone for it. But a three foot river could happen. It'd be a puddle, mate. If, if anyone's done no, research was... in the last two months, it's him. Yeah. But also, what, what makes a river then? Because I thought if it's got a feed water well, at the top... Well, you'll just have to watch the video. Self-promoting! <laughs> <laughs> Chris, so, uh, sorry, it was, no, uh, it was a tough choice between two, uh, two, two plausible towns there. Uh, we still don't have an outro. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs>